All right, everyone. Let's work through the challenge create function. The instructions say create a function called create function that creates and returns a function. When that newly created function is called, it should return the string hello world. So let's go over here into our editor and let's start pseudocoding this out. So first, we know that we want to create our function called create function. Then inside that create function function, we know we want to create a new function. And inside that newly created function, we know we want to return the string hello world. Then, inside of our create function, we want to return the new function that we just created. And that should be it. So now that we're finished with our pseudocode, let's go ahead and start coding this out. So first, we want to create our function, create function. And then inside that create function definition, we want to create a new function. So let's go ahead and call that function print hello world. Then inside that print hello world function, we know that we're going to want to return the string hello world. So let's go ahead and put that here. And then, to finish off our create function definition, we're going to want to return our function we just created called print hello world. So we'll do that right here. Perfect. So now, let me uncomment these lines down here. We're setting up a variable called my function, and we're setting it equal to the evaluated result of create function. Create function is going to return the function definition of print hello world. So then on line 16, when we console log the invocation of my function, we're actually going to see the evaluated result of print hello world. It's just being ran under its new name, my function. So if we run this code, we see hello world. And that's it.